about to hit it. We're gonna bet the house on you later. Yeah. I, I don't know where to sleep tonight. <laughs> Vegas, let's go! We out here and we got a lot of stuff in store, so y'all be ready for it. That's definitely not gonna drop the bullets. Bro, I'm going to the this year. You're not gonna hit unless you drop. No, you're you, you, nobody no, hits off a 20. You gotta drop a blue and drop then cash it out. Stay true. All right, blue's going in. Blue boys. You gotta hit max bet and just keep hitting it. All right, here we go. Two times. Uh, now you gotta do max bet. What? <laughs> Oh, we're up. <laughs> thought that was, that's what I said. Two times, five lines. Oh, oh, that's nothing. All right. I got the touch. Cap. You tell me that's nothing? I'm telling you, bro. I'm that, I'm that dude. You're not that guy. Now. <laughs> Trust me, you're not that guy. <laughs> Larry, get in here. Keep going, you got, oh, you just killed it straight. Bro, don't worry, I'm coming in big right here. I'm coming in big right here. Holy oh. shit! Oh. What? <laughs> you got one more spin. No, I got nothing. I'm, oh, see, so you didn't even let me hit. You, go. you gotta go down on lock. Yeah. Come on, come on. We just need one. Cherry, what? Cherry! Cherry! <laughs> <laughs> Not this is the worst game in the world, bro. It's trash. Trash. We're 0-1 in Vegas right now. We're 0-1, but by the end of this, we will hit the jackpot, right, Larry? I low-key had a vision that I won $5,000 playing craps. If you don't know this about me, I am a visionary, and usually <laughs> when I see things, I can kind of bring it to life. So stay tuned for this 5K come up today. Bro, what are we about to, what, I don't understand what we're about to get. Uh, so we're about to get the most expensive Larry, car Larry, they have. Larry, we're about to walk up and you gotta be like, so tell me about this exotic yeah. car collection. How exotic are we talking here? Or we get a Maybach. Yeah. I feel like a Maybach, we can comfortably sit on yeah. a Maybach. And then I feel like a trucker is just gonna reverse <laughs> right into us <laughs> within the first 20 minutes of going down the street. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I just want y'all to know a wheel caught my Travis. Oh. Right now, a wheel has caught my Travis. These are about two hours and 30 minutes old right now. But I wiped it off, but there's like a tiny, I can't tell, is that just the cut of the shoe? That's a PSA 7. No, that might be. PSA 7. I'm just gonna say, this might be my last time not only rocking foam runners again. Yeah, I, did you at least bring them? Of course I did. Yeah, okay. I might even change out of these immediately. The most expensive car you have. Can you explain to us what this exotic car collection is? How exotic does it get? Um, they have, they just got a new, uh, Urus? Yep, we <laughs> if you, Can we? Okay, yep. <laughs> can we check? Because that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. I need a Urus. It's that or nothing. This is you know, <laughs> so take it or leave it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Talk to Ray. She can't even tell us what cars they have up at the front. We have to go talk to Ray here in the parking lot. So we're going to talk to Ray. We're looking at this new Enterprise exotic collection. We're gonna see what they have. She went to Pretty excited about that. Ray, what's up, my man? How you doing? Good. What can I do for you? A Urus, or maybe if we have to settle, then we'll probably do this Maserati for Maserati Scotty over here. The Urus, I'm not sure what time it'll be back today. Can't wait around. Yeah, we're on, on a schedule. Yeah. I mean, the Maserati will work, but Scotty, it's not gonna work. Our bags are not gonna fit in the bag. Let me show you something, Ian. Oh, we're Why good. are you complaining? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right, Maserati, Scotty, it is. Scotty. I'll buy it. Okay, if we're talking trunk space, Scotty, big body though, this is what we need. Okay, no we, need All right, the we want the range. What you got, Scotty? What you got? Oh, a little, whoop, little flip. Yeah, we in there. It's all good. Range Rover, all wood. Yo, it's all good. Range Rover, all wood. Yo, this thing is big. <laughs> this thing is huge. You're like in the Maybach in the back right there. Bro, we're in there now. We're cozy boys. Panoramic. Woo. 
I just bought a cool. Yeah. I just bought my girlfriend one, so I just bought me two. <laughs> we out here in Vegas every two years. Larry and I go to the trade shows, Magic and Agenda. Why? Because all the brands that we carry fly in from all over the world, set up shop, and basically vendors walk around and have meetings with the brands that they carry in their stores and find potential brands that they would like to carry. And basically we sit down and we pick out the clothes for the year to come. And of course, you know, we gotta go sneaker shopping. So we're about to hit all the best sneaker stores. First stop is Sneaker Garden at Resort World. So the weather review is we're in the middle of the desert. 190 degrees out here. Texas is hot, but this sun just hits different right now. Okay, so we are at the first stop we're going to is Sneaker Garden and it's inside Resort World. Resort World is the newest casino in Vegas. There's a lot of cool car collections and stuff they set throughout the casino and a lot of cool things to do here. So Scotty the Monopoly man Sneaker left his car here. <laughs> Sneaker Garden, there's two locations. There's one in LA, which we didn't hit. I don't know why, I forgot to say that. There's one in Los Angeles, and then there's one that they just built here at Last Resort. So we're gonna go in there, try to find us something that we don't have, something that's rare, something we've always wanted. That's always the goal when we hit different cities. Hey, I see you with Bo, man. You ain't have to do me like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, so this table right here will be my worn stuff. Everything else is dead stock. Oh, even the box logo? Oh, no, no, no. So most of that will be worn. I think the box logos are dead stock. Okay. The hoodie is like 2012, so that one's worn. Right, for sure. Um, but other than that, majority are dead stock. I think maybe the Brooklyn was worn like once. Nice. What do you sell the Bravest for? Dude, I think they're like two right now. Nice. Yeah, yeah. They're all on that rack over there, and I got more sizes in the back. Too. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Initial reaction here at Sneaker Garden, a lot of GR stuff. I honestly don't see too much exclusive stuff. I do like the way that they have the store laid out. Looks really clean, really nice. There's a little bit more to give as far as stock would be cool. Cool selection, definitely a dope layout. I love the industrial bars of everything in here, creating all the little shelves and cubby holes. Great utilization of floor space. Overall, nice appearance. Not really anything special like a trophy case or anything that has any super grails that I need in my life. But overall, as far as just like appearance and vibe, it's pretty solid. Maybe they'll have my uh, Supreme charger I'm looking for. Layout's nice, you can see everything everywhere. That's what I like about stores. I don't like things crammed in. I like it where everything has its place. Price ranges are reasonable. They have a lot of the same stuff we have. You know, you can see we got a lot of these Jordans, a lot of these mids, a lot of those Yeezys. So the selection's nice, but as far as like rarity, there's not a lot of rare items here. But a lot of times too, you gotta keep in mind that there's only a handful of stores in the US that are gonna have like rare pieces and a wide selection of those as well and UN will be one of those that today you guys will find out firsthand. But yeah, definitely a cool little spot here. I like it. How long y'all in town for? Till Thursday. You got magic or what? Agenda? Magic and okay. agenda. Yeah. All right, snatched up a pair of Eric Emanuel shorts. I actually have a dead stock 2005 pair of dunks that are like uh, these Washington Redskins colors. And I have literally nothing to wear with. We actually did a PCH tee that had these colorways and I slept on it. And so now moving forward, I have nothing to wear with these dunks. Now I can pull out an old school pair uh, with a fresh Eric Emanuel short. No disrespect, so. but it's called Washington now. Oh. Team Washington. Yeah. No Washington, Redskins. Washington football team. It didn't take Larry long. First five minutes we got anywhere, he bought something, so go figure. You mind letting him know where we're at and how to find it? Y'all come check us out too. We out in uh, Vegas at Sneaker Garden, bro. Appreciate you, my man. All right, so look, if you're ever in Vegas, number one spot you always gotta stop at during the day is Tacos El Gordo. And they make everything. But what's the best on the menu is the asada fries. Carney asada fries. That's a slap. That shit looks like neon green sauce. And it's not even, it's not hot. I don't know what this sauce is. It's delicious, it's but it's not hot. All right, Scott's hyping this up. Let's see. Oh my God. You can get as much truck as you want. I switched bro. up though. Wow. 
Why do we have so much of that? It's so sweet. So here's the key. You gotta go to this one first, but then you go to this one because it's just water. Oh, no, nope, they got syrup in there now. Hey, come try the water out real quick. No. I heard yes. that. I heard that from the mom. Yeah, that's a machine gun. First of all, it's hotter than Texas out here right now. It's over 100 degrees. Uh, affiliated Poppy in the DMs told me about this place called Waves. I didn't know about it here in Vegas, so we're gonna step out real quick in here and check it out. It looks like they might have some more selection, so let's go check it out. Oh, it's hot. It's Yo, Scotty. Well, I had a pair. Look at that, bro. What are those? What are those? You yeah, knew Scotty. exactly what they were. I, love I had a pair, but I had to grab them. You grabbed them out? You got them when they came out back in the day? Nice. Hell yeah. What's the price on this one? Two bands, so you got a good deal, huh? Two bands. And this is in worse condition. Look, remember I was talking about it's how. DS, it's DS, isn't it? It's gotta be DS. Two bands, there's no way it's used. Who cares? Either way, the back of this pull tab is. Yeah, the deal it's is dirty. Horrible. It's not discolored in the front, though, so that's still good. Yeah. Nice. It's a vibe in here, and the guys are really cool. I like it when I come to a sneaker store, and you can tell when you talk to these dudes that they're part of the culture, and they know a lot about the history of shoes and sneakers. Right when I walked in, the employee said, damn, I see you got the Bix on. 2009. This is my first time wearing them, but twice today already. People are be like, damn, what are those? Because a lot of these people are just not getting into sneakers. They weren't into them years ago. That kid used to skate in them whenever they released. Like, that's the type of shit I'm looking for when I come into these stores. The vibe of this store is way more, to me, authentic. Like, sneaker, sneakerhead. Versus the other one was kind of a little bit more mainstream. So, we try to do a mix of both. <laughs> that's good, man. How you doing? Good, bro. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, bro. Y'all need help with anything, let me know something. Yes, sir. All right. This is sick. Ooh, I have a personal of these. It's the Red Lobster. What they got at 2000. And then this is the Blue Lobster right here. I need this pair. Unfortunately, it's a nine and a half. This is tight. Fucking OG skunk. Like, I can't tell if these are DS or not, because I would fucking cash out on some of this stuff. Are those cause chalk logos? Are those uh, DS? Uh, the white one is, the, the, the black one is pre-owned. How much is the white one? Uh, like 150. Are you gonna go over there? Yeah, I'm gonna go over there right now. All right, cool. We're, All right. we're doing the same thing. All right, I see y'all. Right, they sell shit, and then they got a skate park in there and all kinds of shit. He was like, it's like the Fantasy Factory. He was like, on God, he was like, I just started watching y'all's episodes, and it's crazy because I don't even watch YouTube like that. But y'all yeah. are entertaining as fuck. That's dope. The dude that was just in here, he's from Detroit. He said he's got a spot to right around the corner. It's called Control Collective. He said it's like Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory. So they do buy, sell, trade, all of that kind of stuff. Bear breaks. They also have a skate park in there. He's like, please come. Where is he? He just, he just left. He said, come pull up on him. Yeah. Yeah. 1,000%. Original box. 85. It's like a unicorn. Finding these is easy. It's finding the box. It's hard. Original 94s with the box. Wow. Super cool. It's like a mouse pad. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> These are dead stock? Okay. Prime example, if y'all guys don't remember in the episode a while back, I said, wear your kicks. If they would have worn these shoes, you could probably still would have been able to still wear these shoes. Cause once you wear them in, they don't crumble as bad like you see right here. That's why some 85s, like I was saying in the episode are still wearable. But since it's dead stock and it's never been touched, it literally just rotted all the way through. I don't know a whole lot about this shoe right here. I just know that a lot of these were part of the fashion runway show that he did back in the day, v -Lone, Bari. I remember seeing different ones. You got the purple check, blue and purple. I think there's an orange one. I just remember people like Lil Peep and a couple other different artists that walked the runway wearing these uh, highs right here, these Air Force highs. Never seen this colorway in person before. I've seen the orange one. You've seen the orange one. We went to Houston, we saw the low. Very seldomly do you find the highs because a lot of these were samples. None of them were really released. You can see on the side right here though. Doesn't even have an official tag on it. It's more like a sample tag. Oh, wow. I'm a happy guy right now. I lost it in New York. I still have another Supreme one, but this one has the built-in charger, so I'm using my backup joint right now. 
but see I gotta have the cord with it you know to plug it in but this one has the cord built in it's so much more convenient lost it in an uber in New York I'm very happy to replace it even though it's not the red one but I'll take it because I love that thing <laughs> I'll buy it <laughs> that's the most in. exciting purchase I've, I've had in a long time that one makes this one makes me happy you're back in this isn't like a I don't need it but I'll buy it this is like a I, I need it my man hey thank you all right, so come down to Waves, Las Vegas, 1411 South Main. Whenever you touch down, we are in the art district in Las Vegas. We buy, sell, trade vintage, uh, Supreme, Street Hype, Babe, anything you can think of, designer, chrome hearts, all that stuff. Come on down and check us out whenever y'all get a chance. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good one. Y'all have a good one, brothers. Safe travels, too. Thank you. All right, guys. When it comes to hidden treasures, these are the types of places that I like to find. Waves, super cool spot. The vibe was perfect. Everybody was very friendly. Everybody was on point. And they have these little niche things that you may be looking for or whatever. Uh, they had an excellent selection in my size. I'm surprised I didn't pull the trigger on any of those, but I'm kind of, I don't have much traveling space in my bag to take stuff back. However, I did find a little hidden treasure that I lost in New York, my Mophie pack. So I got to replace that. And then the dude in there bought my old one. So knocked a good chunk off. This is probably one of the better finds, like one of the most exciting things that I've purchased in a while. So I'm stoked. I, mean, I already told y'all how I feel about the store. The store is super unique. It's a vibe. You can go into a store and talk to employees and know they're part of the culture. For the first five minutes you talk to them. And the minute he said that he, he knew, knew what yeah. these were and thrashed them when they came out, I already knew I was in a good spot. Yeah. Yep. Music, vibe, selection, that's some rare lobsters in there, that's some papa bears in there, that's some original 94s, original fucking 85s, original cements, like bro, shit was with the box, like V-Lone sample, runway pairs, like hard, hard. Shout out to these fools, yeah, for real. Man. That was a vibe for sure. Yeah. All right, so Affiliated also told me about this place, Bring It Back, which is right across the street from where we just came from, Waves. Waves recommended it as well, so they're the homies, and they got a lot of dope shit in here too. So we're about to check it out before we go to the spot Larry was telling me about, the Fantasy Factory spot. So let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Let's go, y'all. Can't do fly, can't do fly, you know. Are you doing, brother? What y'all recording for? For our YouTube. Oh, hell yeah. That's what's up. It's called Private Selection. Hey. It's called Blue Gatorade. <laughs> Blue Gatorade. We have a running joke on, on the YouTube channel. This guy right here, Larry, he drinks blue Gatorade every <laughs> fucking day. And on our last that's episode, for you. Bro, yeah. that's what we're talking about. Like, there's a blue Gatorade. And funny enough, look what size it is. It's Your my size. size. Looking in the big foot section right now. You wanna hear something crazy? I had this shoe when I was younger. I thought I thrifted it for 40 bucks. And I sold it for like 80 bucks. And I wish I would have just kept it. <laughs> I see what you did. You start going over to this section. I just walks around. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see what my shoe is. this section. Already? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh ice cream wow. With the milk, dude. Yeah. You know, this guy tell me every night that he goes on eBay and types these shoes in and looks for his size every night while he goes to bed. We're big on like older BBC too. We have these ones on display. <laughs> oh, uh, one of 175, I believe. The BBC oh, workshop. In the original tub, too. Try to get 170. 175? Yeah. 170 made in the world. It's not seven. for sale, just oh. decoration. So you, you follow King of Creams? Uh, yeah. Shout out King of Creams. He was, uh, He's the goat. the dude originally got it from, and then he was pissed as hell when he got him. He's the odds of that. Yeah, the out other King owner of the shop, he's big on like older BBC I'm stuff. Like, he archives that stuff. You know what you need to get, Scott? That's a good choice. Go ahead and grab the dip set hoodie. We got those yeah, for got sale too. 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 If you know a smaller size, those ones are brand new. The other PPC ice cream ones. Fall winter 14, medium 420. That's fire as fuck. You won't ever in a million years see someone wearing that hoodie. Just saying. Throw it out. You don't have to. If that was a large, I would have. I would buy it. I'm telling him, let me see it. Yeah, yeah bro. Bad. It's pretty rose tight. Okay. okay. I apologize. Yeah, you good, bro? We do have all our tees in that uh, case on that side. On that side? Yeah, yeah. Those are all 13. All like 12 and 11. Uh, most of them is. Uh, I can wear 12 too. Are, this yeah. man has like, when we talk about him in Vegas, he has one of the best collections probably. That's fire. That's a free? Yeah. Yeah, it's 12. yeah these are clean, bro. That's why. Like, yeah, bro. That's so gangster. Bro, this is a fucking 12. Do you remember when we like I almost want to make it that work. Remember when we sold this one? Elite, bro. This is the very first one. 
Did you get those like when they first came out? No, but I paid like 300 bucks for them. Fuck. I wish, bro. How's it feeling? Horrible. Okay, you have more of those? I need one of these. I think this is, how much, I think this is all we got. What yeah. size? Those are all fucking small. Yeah. Oh, that one. no. That was it. <laughs> that was the one, bro. I would have got both. Yeah, right? I, man, that was I what I needed. That was what I need. Human Made is definitely in my list of seven brands, bro. Are any of those ones for sale? Nah, that's not this place. Not this place? Yeah. I got another, I got another one. 2003. Ooh, that's a dope. 2003. Dope. Right. I'm getting it. Yeah. So go with my new, my new Cartiers. Yeah. I'm surprised I had that in go yet. That's a good ass piece. That's me, big dog. We gotta try something. Let's get flavors right now. I went with the Mojito 7-Up. For whatever reason, it's 100 and something degrees outside. I felt like this was gonna be the most refreshing, so. Strawberry kiwi. Tastes like a mojito. I'm about to pop the top of this white peach. I already know it's, I already know it's fire. Delicious. And you're gonna be paying with cash or card, boss man? Cash. Cash for sure. And that'll just come out to 585, boss. This one for the personal? Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I was like, please keep this one, dude. Just faded so nicely. Here's six. You got to change. You know, That's all good, bro. No, for real. You sure, bro? Yeah. All right. You guys are a vibe, man. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you, bro. Whenever I'm in Texas, I'm going to come through. Yeah, where are you guys from? I have that one. I appreciate it, though. You guys just visiting? Just We're here for the trade shows and then also just to make an episode out of it for the YouTube. We're going to break down real quick what I got. I got some good gems right now. I'm really happy about them. First of all, Original box ice cream tub for those of you who don't know ice cream did a series of runs of shoes that came in actual ice cream tubs back in the early 2000s This is a women's release that I've been looking for for a very long time. And it's the lipstick flavored one And these hoes are hard Still got your still got the shoehorn yeah. still got the shoehorn in the pack and the keychain. <laughs> Big keychain. Super vibes. hard, bro. I've been searching for these forever. eBay usually has them for like five, six hundred dollars. Here I got them for three eighty-five. Then my boy right here, I was telling him I was looking for some older picture tees or just even like older box logos. And he directed me to this 2003 nicely aged baby blue box logo. And these are numbered, yeah. Scotty. Five eighty-seven oh. out of two thousand. <laughs> five eighty-seven out of two thousand. These will go good with my Cartiers I just got. Tell them where we're at. <laughs> yeah, tell them where we're at. We're at Bring It Back Las Vegas, 1512 South Main, and we just opened a second one over at the North Outlets, Las Vegas, Nevada, baby. Hey, 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 hey. thank you guys for coming. How we doing? Y'all. I appreciate you. Look, how the fuck? How the fuck is it so hot? Global warming. Off. Why is that the most muscular dinosaur you've ever seen? The one on the right. Look at it. We got T-Rex outside. This is called Control Collector. My dog. Good. 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 How y'all boys doing? Good. Man, y'all the greatest, man. I'm for real, y'all motivated boy. Y'all ready? Appreciate that, man. Man pulled up on me. He said, I got another spot down the street. Y'all come pull up on me, fuck with me. So we came to see what man, was going on. I got on. all the spots. When they done with this spot, I'm going to take them to another. Okay, okay. okay. I might take them to one more. It's like a treasure chest. You know? <laughs> <laughs> everywhere everywhere we've been, has been pretty live, man. I ain't going to lie. Did y'all going to bring it back yet? Yeah, yeah I just got, got a 2003 box logo, a baby blue one. And then the lipstick ice creams oh. from back in the day. So oh, that's fire. I've been searching for those for years. How long so. y'all been doing what y'all been doing? Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, 2011. Individually, 10 years. Yeah, yeah a little over 10 years. Man, y'all do that shit. Like, I swear to God, I was just, I be click, see, I click random stuff on YouTube. Like, I just came across y'all page one yeah. day, I just clicked it, and I'm like, that's fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's when them, uh, them off whites, they just dropped them yellow ones. Yo, of course, yeah, really? yeah y'all yeah. had them real. I'm like, them boys got some cheat codes over yeah. there. Like, we definitely got some up. cheat codes, man. <laughs> up, up, left, down, square. <laughs> Larry talks about the cool blue Gatorade. 
what you know about that ocean blue maple syrup, yeah. baby? Yeah. Captain's Crunch. Oh, I mean, it, 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 ha- it actually looks more like blue cherry Gatorade, which is also an acceptable <laughs> color of blue in the realm of Gatorade. And so I'm really tempted to squeeze that syrup in my mouth. <laughs> He's about to go on a world tour. How's going to world tour sodas today, bro? Hold on. We got peach Kit Kats too. The cookies and cream Kit Kats? Damn, you know these are smacking. You have to get that. What's going on, man? Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. I'm going to eat this, but I'm going to pay for it. All good, bro. All right. All good, man. Hell yeah. Is there people skating? Uh, no, we have a half pipe on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to see you skating on there. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. It's been a while, man. Oh, shit. Boy, Lego was left to build it. Boy, Lego was left to build it. That's one thing. My balance is like a little kitty cat, bro. I ain't falling. Never give up, kids. Even when you're 35, traveling around the world, always remember, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 is the greatest game ever made. Yeah, it's tight. We just put a studio on here. This the other stall right here. This the one I told y'all to yeah, go that's to. that's the one we need to go to, too. You see, that's y'all Stilos. Yeah, we're gonna check that out. But they about to come down Is it all dead stock or is it you? All dead there? stock. Everything in their dead stock. Okay, cool. My you. boy's about to slide on you. Slide. Treat them good. All right, you go check it out. Bring it back then? Yeah, check it out, man. Okay. No worries with me. I appreciate you. I appreciate boys, you, man. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. yeah, It's your boy Pablo Skywalker, man. Don't look up, don't look down, look around. Pablo in town. Shout out to them boys and shout out to all the cool kids doing cool stuff. Keep being fly. And one day you're gonna be that guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My boys, man. Yes, sir. Look out, look out for the vlog, you're gonna be on it. It's good. And just in case y'all didn't know, that is Controlled Collective. Kind of like a store meets creative space meets studio. Yeah, that's there's a whole lot of everything whole in lot there. Of shit going on in there. They got like. Places for like shows, all sorts of stuff. You can look in here, I think this is still part of it too. Artwork, gallery. Yeah. This is the they said they have car meets right here. They got low riders that come out here, supercars, get drinks, everything out there. It looks super dope, man. Very hot outside. <laughs> Yo, it is so hot. We are here at our fourth location of the day. Or bring it back yeah. premiere. Yeah. So apparently they it's not gonna be more like a thrifting store or finding grails or used items like we found at the other bring it back. This one's gonna be more of the lane of what we do at our store, so. Yeah, and it's still 106 and it, degrees and outside. it's 106 degrees outside, so. Yep, get me in the AC. I'm melting! What's up, man? With the fragment socks? Yeah. Hey, big to toes. You guys pulling up on Thursday? We didn't know what was going on. No, we're leaving Thursday. We've had like five people try to give us this already. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I can't go. Probably like five bands or something. Five bands, but that's, I think that's for like the rarest seeker, like oh, the best me one. right now. Let me get out there. Last year pulled up an undefeated four, so that's nice. If I was from here and I was supposed to go to that event, I wouldn't even wear these. I have, I have way, rare, I have way rare. What would you wear? To that? To that. Don't say trophy room. Trophy room probably get up there too. Yeah. I'll pull up in seventy-five pairs of trophy rooms. How about that? <laughs> which one of you guys got seventy-five pairs of trophy rooms? But this is definitely, yeah, he was right. This is definitely more the high end shit. Oh, yeah. It's a Futura box logo, only 50 of them made. It's $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to have at this airport. I'm trying to tell y'all I need that for the airport. First off, I already know it's a bag. Kinda. It's a suitcase. Yeah, for you to put your little murmur thing in. Sleep not, apnea now. Murmur. <laughs> <laughs> First then, off, that doesn't fit in there. And then you're going to put your Futura box logo in there. Yeah, that's right. Friends and family, 50 only. Uh, You'll just keep it in there locked up and everybody will be like, what's in the box? Don't worry about it. I wish it was and big you, enough. That's when you're holding you go like this. And you, and you pat it, like, don't worry about it. How much is that? A lot. A lot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Yo, how much is the Goyard? 
Uh, it's at uh, nine thousand. Nine thousand. Retail on it's uh, fifteen thousand. It's okay. all solid gold. Okay. And it's uh, one out of like eight fifty. Bro, don't sell it. You're selling me on this right now, yeah, bro. Yeah, and I think it's like number fifty-seven, if I'm not mistaken. Shit. So it's like it's low, it's in the low hundreds. I can take bro. it on everything for you. Solid gold. If it was wider, I just feel like it's thin. Like, what am I supposed to put in there? Documents? Yeah, your laptop to take to the office, bro. You walk into the office towers with that and your private chain, they're gonna be like, what is this guy do? You wanna pull that off for you, bud? Nah, nah, dude. At least for the video. Alright, I pull it up. I mean, it's crazy. It's literally like. Yeah, open that up for you. All these accessories are all gold. Yeah, it's all solid gold. Oh. And they never and do that brown on that Chevron Goyard right there. Yeah, that shit look brand new though. Yeah, it's literally flawless. Yeah, solid gold. Yeah, solid gold. What's the asking price for it? Uh, 9,000. 9,000. Retail's 15,000 on it. Close it real quick. Oh, it's all hand painted. Uh, yeah, they do all that. Uh, man. That's crazy. Yeah, look, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I already there. got the other piece, yeah, throw, bro. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Look, look, look. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> like the the secret is, is you put nothing in there. Yeah. You just yeah. carry it around. around. Nothing carry around. around. I put you like one pen. everybody wonder yeah. what it is. That's fire, bro. That's insane. You can just see the quality and the yeah, stitching and everything. Sure. Like, it's, yeah. it's next wow. level, bro. Wait, now it's your level. That's yeah, what you yeah, chill, chill. Yeah, there you go. That's a fucking car, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you already, you already got the, yeah, there. I'm saying, I'm about to throw away my wallet. <laughs> Drop it, Ian. I would never, bro. I'm not, he said, I told him I wasn't going to get it. He's like, you want to see it for the YouTube? I said, yeah. That's for the video. That's all gold except hardware, bro. Solid gold. Feel it, though. I know, bro, Scott could. I see you, boy, right there, rocking that. Yeah. Walking down Melrose. Yeah, there you go. Get robbed walking down Melrose. <laughs> you been down there lately? <laughs> it ain't safe over there. It's not safe over there no more. Crazy. They finessing and jugging over there. We're here at uh, Las Vegas, Nevada at North Premium Outlets. This is our second store. Our Instagram tag is right here. And we have a YouTube channel too, so check us out. Very much appreciated, guys. Thank you. Guys have a great day. Yes, sir. All right, this is very weird. I feel like I'm outside, but I'm inside. Yeah, look up. All right, so you guys know, of course, we had to save the best for last. Best being JC, aka 2J's Kicks, also known as the owner of UN, Urban Necessities. Me and Larry used to go to his store when he used to be at Fashion Mall. He had told us about his expansion, but he was gonna expand within the mall. Mm. Fast forward two years later, it actually ended up having other plans and expanding here at Caesars Palace. So it's our first time here. I just shot him a text and I told him I was gonna pull up and do a little film. He gave me the okay, so we're about to go check it out. And if you guys don't know, it is the biggest resale store on the planet. Well, to start things off with a bang, he's got the two jet skis. Not one, but two. I will say this is my first time to see a four foot cause doll. A real one, besides Chris, I Chris see nose. You I thought they have the exhibits and stuff too. No, not the dissected one like this. They're always the huge ones. I've never seen the little baby ones. By the looks of it from in here, if you turn around, this grail box has some competition with Flight Club, that's for sure. If you guys don't remember or don't keep up with 2Js, he also did a Fat Joe garage clean out yeah. where he went to Fat Joe's garage and cleaned out a lot of his air forces. And he also went to uh, Mayer's headquarters and took half of his stock. And Mayer is one of the biggest sneaker collectors on the planet. And he's known for a lot of the up-tempo air forces more than anyone on, in the world I would imagine, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's why I'm saying that to say this. If you look up here, you'll start to see a lot of the air forces going down. You're gonna see some shit you guys have probably never seen before. And LeBron, because I know I know both those guys were big on LeBron. I know Mayer and Fat Joe will probably have hella, hella LeBron. Mr. Cartoons, just to start things off, the Mr. Cartoons right here. Eminem 2s, Cause Air Max. Look at that, Cause Air Max R. Players only. Ooh, this oh, is fire. Fucking uh, P Rod Futura. Sick. And that's a push head. My buddy has an original push head with the box, too. This shit's fire. I 
need that Astro Boy, but I'm afraid to look at how much it even is. Let's find out. 8,000. I'd rather take the luggage. If I want the off-white one, but I might have to go with a Supreme. 2,700. Bro, I've been wanting this set right here. I want that I need that. Ooh. Do I get black or red? I mean, first off, this red is way, way better. And it's probably double the price of that one. There's $400 more. It's 27 and 31. I mean, that one's worth way more. That one's worth way more than that. This one, I got those for retail. I think I ended up returning one because no, one, there was under retail. This one's under retail forever. OG Slick. He's from LA. He's got a lot of different things that he's done with Dunnies to his famous Mickey Mouse. He's known for doing like the LA hand sign with the Mickey Mouse hands. There's a bunch of different iconic things that if you look him up and you look through his, uh, his IG, you'll see some pieces that you've seen before. Super dope. I've never seen one of these in person before. So Fat Joe's a 12? Yo, let me get these, bro. Promo sample. Promo, promo sample, sample Galaxy, Galaxy, Galaxy and it's Fat Joe's. How do you know? Because it says Fat Joe at the bottom. Damn, young Fat Joe. Oh. Look, all these, this whole pack right here is all Fat Joe's. How do you, this is Fat Joe's too? Yeah, they're Fat Joe's. And they're all size 12, so he must be a 12. See how it starts with Fat Joe? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, here's, bro, Fat Joe's my size. Loki, <laughs> yo, Loki, Fat Joe, I might have to buy some of your collection right now. Fat Joe, what'd, what'd you do to the back of this shoe? <laughs> Scuffing them in the streets look, of New York. Look. Wow, you're picking up a lot of these Joes. Bro, this is all Why Fat all Joes. Because they're Fat Joe's entire collection. <laughs> you gotta go with the Fat Joe Fusion 3. Wow. No, no, yeah, this is Fat Joe too. I would never. This is a very Fat Joe-like shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. All right, so I flew in. Yesterday, really late, John, our barber, came to the shop, but I was not able to get cut. But luckily, here at Urban Accessories, not only do they have a barber shop, in an elevator, in a, in an elevator, in a gaming system where you can lay in and play video games with your friends, and an ice cream parlor, they have a barber shop. Barber shop. So hopefully, tattoo shop. Well, here's oh, the yeah, thing. they got a tattoo shop. The, the, the hopeful part that I am right now is that there's not like a the waiter or something. Get in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can I get in here? <laughs> Uncle Joey with the lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Yo, Fat Joe's. Fat Joe, Joe be, dog. You can't lean back. Yo, I'm Uncle Joey. It ain't Fat Joe. I'm Uncle Joey. <laughs> Fat Joe's whole collection is downstairs, though, if you need it. Size 12. I know you see the beard. What would you name? Elijah, bro. Elijah. You want IG or anything? Yes, sir. Shout your IG out, bro. Hey, check me out on uh, IG at Eli West, though. Really, y'all are gonna be shocked. There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> so my favorite part about this store is the toys, the figurines, the collectibles. A lot of the stuff that you see behind me is some stuff that is very, very expensive, very rare. And some of them I've never seen in person before. Let's take a look. So you guys remember these from the NY trip? A lot of these cause dolls. The Lazanis. A lot of these range anywhere from like two to three up to like five thousand dollars. You got a lot of these old bear bricks. Now keep in mind, some of these are about two thousand dollars and up, and that's crazy for a four hundred percent to be two thousand dollars. That's usually what you see like a thousand percent. The big boys are usually the rare ones. Are usually two thousand up. This one right here, I think I was looking on StockX the other day, and I want to say it's at like fifteen k or something crazy like that. Yeah. Yeah. This one's at like seven or eight thousand. This one's at like fifteen thousand. I'm not sure about the dissected one. Very rare, very exclusive. It's crazy to even have these in person. Even like the monochrome Astro Boy cars. I've never seen the monochrome in person. I've only seen the colored one. Five. I need that. That's like eight bands. Mayweather's watch, I guess. Mayweather's watch. Wow, that's tight as hell. Go boxing glove. Wow. Cuba. Futuras, yeah. Super Dope, the Ramoas, I mean, there's a lot of really cool pieces here. And then, of course, the four, the four foot one that we talked about earlier. So, Supreme, LV, how much is it? Let's look it up. 25. 
If you're curious about how he does all the price checks, like show him how you figure out the price of something. Okay, Every, everything's got a QR code. Open your camera, hit the code, it'll pop up a link. You tap that, it'll take you to their website. 100 bucks for the kiss piece. Now, if there's multiple sizes, it'll tell you every size and its price, and it'll let you know if there's like a damaged box, no box, used, or dead stock. So, pretty clever. It can be tedious at times having to pull your phone out, but also it, it takes away from having to ask a million questions because these guys have hundreds of people in the store at the time. We have 12 people in the store at the time, so yeah. I get it. Not enough hands to answer yeah. questions, yeah. so the smartest thing to do is do the QR code. Then if you have any questions, we record after that, then you can go and find somebody. Overall for me, huge selection. First of all, beautiful location. Everything from the floors to just the overall layout is incredible. Billion flavors. Uh, super dope to have inside inside your store. Curious on their thought process for having all of the shoes facing the wall, but maybe a lot of people can see them better as you're walking, you know, from left to right. Not sure about that. However, uh, the selection is crazy. This wall is crazy. Didn't quite find anything for me. A lot of these shoes out here are size 12. They're, for, they're from Fat Joe's collection. So a lot of the stuff that I was looking at, I'd pick it up and it turned out to be his. So I couldn't fit it. But uh, in terms of just overall, it's very cool to see a lot of this stuff in one place. Uh, reminds me a lot of our spot, you know, being able to walk in and see a lot of things that you don't ordinarily get to see. So I like it. Good job, JC. Pretty dope. All right, guys, day one, complete. Hit a lot of dope stores. Now we're back at the hotel. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling, talking to my neighbors. What's up, guys? <laughs> Bro, I just stubbed my toe so bad. <laughs> Stupid room. <laughs> so we're about to go get some food. Have All you right. ever been to Paris? <laughs> <laughs> I just took Ian to Paris and now we're gonna check out this water show and then go grab some food downstairs. Catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. This guy sent us on a wild goose chase. Scott, did you just take the whole tray? <laughs> no, bro, we were talking. <laughs> so he pulled up his IG and the last picture on his IG is in our sneaker store. Ever been a bird before? Here, crummy. Made it to agenda. Let's go inside. Okay. Another one. Oh, oh, oh. That was it. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's it. <laughs> oh, shit. It was on camera. <laughs>